Hello everyone, I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold and welcome to Vegas Vibes. On Vegas Vibes, I'll be featuring amazingly talented people from many walks of life who contribute to making Las Vegas a unique global brand. And on that note, here with us today is the reigning Miss Asian North America 2018, Miss Vivian Chen. How are you, Vivian? Hi, I'm well. Thank you so much for having me on the show. <laughs> We're excited to have you. Well, I would like to know where you're originally from and how old are you? I'm 29 and I'm originally from Los Angeles, California and I moved out to Las Vegas to um, pursue a nursing career. Oh wow, yeah. that's very nice. You have to be very compassionate to yeah. do that job. Yeah. Um, so are you, or did you already graduate? Or? Yes, I did. I already graduated. Um, I moved out to Las Vegas um, and so far I love it. I love. Um, the Vegas vibes. <laughs> I really enjoy the culture. I love the diversity that um, the city offers and I love the opportunities as well. So nursing is your first aspiration and yeah. how did you come up with this crowd and sash? Was that your uh, lifelong dream as well to become a beauty queen? Um, it was definitely, it was up in my bucket list. It was something that I've never done before and it was something that I really wanted to challenge myself with because I do have stage fright and that has always been one of my biggest fears is to be on stage. Um, and just having so many people sponsor me and support me in the whole process, it really, really made me want to just go for it and try it and do it and I, after winning, I'm just, I'm still, Aesthetic. yeah, I'm still so happy and so excited for everything and I still, it's still a dream sometimes. <laughs> Having said that, is this your first pageant? Yes. Oh wow, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> wow, first try and you won the coveted title of Miss Asian North America. Yeah, it's such an honor. <laughs> so who is, was there a particular person who pers who encouraged you to join um, Asia there, North America? There were a couple of physicians um, at my work that actually were really encouraging me and they were just kind of my inspiration. They really were pushing me to, they're about empowering young women, especially early in their careers. And they were just, they really gave me a huge push. And uh, yeah. So you said you have stage fright. How yes. did you deal with that? Honestly, I was really, really nervous. I. I don't know if this is too much information, but I definitely almost felt like I, I wanted to, you know, vomit on stage. But I just really held it together and I just kept remembering that I have my family out in the audience watching me. I have my friends out there watching me and everyone here is to support us and everyone in the audience is there to support someone in the pageant and it's just all love. And that was what I just tried to focus as much as I could on just everyone here is to support someone. So no one's here to be mean or judgmental. Yes, that's <laughs> wonderful. Do you have any favorite part of the competition or the most challenging part for you? The most challenging part would probably be the part where they ask us questions because you don't the Q and A the Q and A yes. because you don't know what they're going to ask you. You literally draw out of a fishbowl any question, and it could be anything. And that was the part that was the most um, difficult for me. Do you remember what was your question? Um, my question was, "What would I if I won? What would I do for my community?" Which, um, yeah. I thought was a fair question. <laughs> Do you remember your answer? Well, my answer was that I really wanted to um, promote kind of affordable health care um, by promoting mid-level practitioners and promoting preventative medicine. I um, assume that's your platform yes. since you are in the medical field. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, how about your favorite part of the commentary? What was the easiest? Maybe you swim to competition because <laughs> you're so fit. <laughs> you're so nice. No, um, my favorite part was probably the cultural part because it was really nice to see during rehearsal. Um, it was really nice to see everyone's cost costumes. Everyone was so creative. It was so beautiful. And I feel like I just learned so much about other, As even though it's an Asian competition, um, I felt as though there's just, it brought so many different Asian cultures. And there's so many differences between, you know, Chinese um, costumes as well as uh, 
Filipino and all the different cultures that it brought. It was just, it was really interesting. That was probably my favorite part. I think that that's my favorite part too when I joined Miss Asian North America. And at the time, I even won the same costume. Yes, your costume was beautiful. I saw. Oh, oh my thank goodness. You. Yeah, I loved your costume. Who did your costume? My costume, um, actually, I bought it in Chinatown because it's just a regular, it's one of those uh, Chosom dresses. Mm -hmm. And I bought it in Chinatown and just got it. I bet it you look like a China doll. Yeah. <laughs> in those outfits. <laughs> Well, I definitely saw a lot of the costumes and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, the this is really creative. I wish I had something more creative. Um, but yeah, I think I just tried to try to um, just stay myself and try to keep it sort of simple and that's kind of how I am as a person. And it was just be yourself all the way. <laughs> is there a beauty queen? Uh, I meant, is there a beauty queen that you look up to? Mm. Can you name one? I think her name is Pia. Pia Wurzbach? Yes. From the Philippines, yes. the most famous uh, beauty queen. She's so beautiful. She is. <laughs> Follow her on Instagram, and she's just beautiful. And her platform, she just seems like such a wonderful, beautiful person, inside and out. Yes, and I'm proud to say she's from the Philippines, yes. where I came from. Yes. Well, what would you like to achieve during your reign? Um, during what, are, my what are your goals? As of right now, my goals are um, I would just like to do as much volunteer work as possible. Um, so far, most of the volunteer work that I've done is for health and wellness, um, such as packing lunches for the homeless or for um, children going back to school, things such as that. Um, that's something that I'm really passionate about is health and wellness. One thing I really like about becoming a beauty queen, it mm -hmm. teaches you to be a humanitarian, yeah. like to be more compassionate to others and just be a good example yeah. to many, especially to the young Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there anything that you would wish to accomplish like, like after your reign? Like where do you see yourself? Uh, are you going to compete in a much larger pa pageant or this is it? I'm not sure. Um, I'm still thinking about it and it's, it's something that's been in the back of my mind, but I'm not positive. Um, maybe? But I don't know how I'll do with my stage fright, so we'll see. <laughs> what was your talent? Did you have, did no. you get to perform? No, I didn't get a chance to. No, yeah. Do you sing, dance? No, I wish I did. <laughs> it's all beauty and rings, <laughs> which is not the a bad thing at all. <laughs> the Q and A. Yeah. So, if I did have to do a talent, I would try to cook. <laughs> you tried to cook. You wanted to be a chef. Um. Maybe. Yeah, I would love to. Something that. Uh, you probably could pursue also in the future. Yeah, I would love to. A beauty queen, to. chef, and a nurse. <laughs> Very nice combination. Hopefully. <laughs> that would be wonderful if I could. But yeah, if, if I could try to do a talent, it would be that. I just don't know if it's a fire hazard to have fire on stage. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you could be a magician too. Oh, maybe, <laughs> <you> right? <laughs> fire. A magician chef. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, what else motivated you to join this pageant? Um, well, just seeing the organization. I think that Miss Asian North America, the organization itself is just, I wanted it for the experience, but just what it stood for. It stood for um, promoting Asian women and promoting their hopes and dreams and careers and really pushing all Asian women to just um, sort of step outside of their box and volunteer and um, meet other women with just similar likes and similar um, hopes and dreams as well. And just Ms. Asian North America really just brought me out of my shell because I was always you shy. Know, a little bit on the shy Timid. side. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Let's do a quick talk. Okay. Just uh, say it, the first thing that comes on your mind. Okay. Okay. Name three things on your bucket list. On oh, my bucket list. Um, it would be Bali. Um, so it would be to travel, um, to maybe go to culinary school, and um, to join an art class. Art class? Do you paint? Not well. That's why I want to join a class. Oh, okay. <laughs> Biggest pet peeves? Pet peeves. Uh, loud, rude people, I guess. Um, mean people and bullies. Mostly bullies. Yeah. Favorite animal? Elephants. Why elephant? Because they're the best. They're very compassionate and empathetic. I and they're see. very smart and they never forget. I could see that uh, inner beauty is very important to you. Well. Yes, very important. Favorite food? <laughs> um, 
Oh, Chinese right. food? Chinese food, <laughs> yes. I actually love Filipino food. Oh. I love um, the, is it Tyrone? Tyrone, the one with Tyrone. the banana. Oh, yes, the banana wrap. So good. I'm salivating thinking about yes, it Yes, right I cook now. that. Oh, do I'll cook you? for you one of these oh. days. If you could have a superpower, yes. what would it be and why? Um, It would probably be to, sounds a little bit plain, but I would probably want to fly. Oh. <laughs> it would save a lot on airplane tickets. <laughs> <laughs> What would you do if you could travel in the, into the past? Um, I would like to see how other people live. I would love to see other people's cultures and how things evolved and became about... What era like, are you interested or fascinated to I don't know if see. I have a specific era. Maybe... Maybe the 50s, 50s, because I think it would be interesting, yeah. Oh, cool. If you could choose anywhere in the world to live, where would you stay? Thailand. Thailand. Why yeah. Thailand? Because I love it there. Everyone there is so nice, and um, yeah. And the food. And the food is amazing. I haven't, I can't get sick of the food. Who's your biggest crush? <laughs> my biggest crush? Hmm, does that have to be someone famous? Can it be my husband? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Right. Oh, That's given. Your yeah, husband. So someone famous. This is really hard. I don't know. Favorite actor? Favorite actor? I guess Ryan Reynolds. Okay. If you had to choose between your crown and a love life, mm -hmm. which would you choose and why? Oh, that would be really hard. Of crown or my love life? Uh, I would have to say I couldn't do either without, like I wouldn't be able to do my crown without the support of my husband, but I wouldn't be able to have my love life without having my own life as well. So it'd be hard to choose one or the other. That's why it's very important to have a very supportive and understanding partner in life. Yes, right? definitely. Thank you so much. You have been so lovely and, of course, beautiful oh. with so much less makeup. It's like you're the only beauty queen I've seen with so much less makeup. I'm trying to promote natural beauty, maybe. Yeah. Simplicity <laughs> is beauty, as they say. It might sound cliche, but it's true to you. I'm trying to keep it very yeah. classic. Yes. Thank you so much, Miss Vivian Chan. Kindly invite all our local and global viewers where they could find you or reach you. Um, I, you can find me on Instagram for Vivian Chan, uh, Ms. Asia North America on Instagram, and as well as Facebook. And Ms. it's M-S. It's not M-I-S-S. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Vivian Chan, and I wish you good luck on your reign. Thank you And so all much. your future endeavors. Thank you for having me. <laughs> It's our pleasure. Well, thank you so much. There you go. Please support Miss Asian North America. And a big shout out to the CEO and founder, Miss Annie Evans. I would like to thank my award of sponsor, Anne Fontaine. Anne Fontaine is located at the Forum Shops inside Caesars Palace. Thank you, Miss Anna Stewart Vian Billings. Check out their website, annefontaine.com. Catch me again next time as I feature another amazing personality here on Vegas Vibes. Once again, I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold. Take care and God bless.